Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome yo. to Neutral Air, episode, what are we on? Seven. Seven, Jeez, seven, seven. yeah. Seven. That's what I said. Dude, do you think we need, like, a rating system for, like, Smashy G's? Like, remember the, remember, remember the old DCI? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, you're a new player, you came in, you had, like, six, I think it was... 1,600. Six, 1,600. Yeah, yeah. It was, like, a... Uh... Old like a chess rating system. You know? Yeah, 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 dude. Like that's that, I think that system would be so good for, like, how things should be now. Mm -hmm. Like, like, like take zero and let's take, I don't know, like void for instance or whatever. If you input, I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> Basically, if you just input them into the tournament. It could almost like precede for you. you know? exactly. Okay, that's the point I wanted yeah, to get yeah. to. Yeah, something like that. You, you input all the you know, the results, and right. it gives them their rating number. Yeah. So like now, when you when you go to events like uh, Shine and stuff, you it kind of almost like auto sees the tournament for you, like to an exact point of how it should be mm -hmm, based on mm -hmm. based on all the people that entered the tournament. Right. So like you know like oh zeros at like. 2100 and like Salem's at like 2119 you know the tournament knows to just put Salem at the top right. you know like something like that man like I don't I, I gotta I gotta talk to Swore more man I mean he, he'll, he'll enlighten me and let me know where all about the numbers yeah for dude sure, yeah cause it's like I don't know this is my my thoughts like but he's he's working with uh, Panda Gold and all mm -hmm. that shit man so I like I really wanna talk to him to just know how shit is like done man like these guys I mean, must go through some shit. It's a lot, yeah. But I think there is, I mean, a lot of the infrastructure is there because so many big tournaments, especially, use Smash GG, you know, mm -hmm. almost exclusively at this point. That, I mean, it's a lot of work to do for sure. But since so many people, since it's so centralized, you could take those results and sort of put them into a system. You know, ELO is a popular one. Um, you know, uh, Pokemon used it, Pokemon trading card yeah. game, uh, Magic used it, of course, and uh, a bunch of other, you know, chess, obviously. And there's, like, pros and cons to it, of course. I mean, no rating system is perfect, but I think that it could be a pretty solid idea to just get some groundwork in, you know, help with, like, a lot of the mid-level players, too, mm. and uh, definitely help out some of the sour spots of, like, big tournament seating, you know. No, um, I haven't checked, but uh, Panda Global, do they only do the top 150, or do they have, like, a continued list that goes from, like, you know, 51 to, like, 150 or something? They only publish a top 50 and then the, what they call Area 51. It's, like, yeah, five yeah. people who barely make the cut or so. Yeah, yeah, Just missed it. But they have all the stats, you know, like, um, they, they're ready. You know, they're all written down in a big old spreadsheet somewhere. They have all of the numbers, but they just don't go so far as to rank them so much so after like 55 to maybe like 75 see man if you just see if we had like a, the, the DCI rating system you like we can go you should be able to go to a site type in your you know DCI number right, how right. it used to be and just be like even oh like, I can see exactly where I'm ranked right, I'm on right. my winning percentage yeah like it's just like oh I'm like the best limited player in the state or like I'm top 10 like lim you know but you could do that yeah with the search old, out your uh, region DCI. and everything so yeah. like, everything that breaks down yeah and again that might be something Smash GG could implement I mean like it's a huge project but you could just be like oh log into Smash GG and it's like hey here's you you know in your state in your region in the world based yeah, on right. you know your results from things that you signed up for on Smash GG. It'd be sweet. It'd be like an insane amount of work, but it'd be sweet. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I really, like, I can't stress it enough. I've stressed it a lot, but even still, it'd be like a huge overhaul, but. Yeah, um, for like, some, like so I guess fantastic. something like that would make your PR a lot easier. Yeah, that's, that's honestly, right. that's true too. You yeah. can just be like, okay, these guys played, you played to the end of the quarter. Yep, and then and you then can just like, look it up. Like, look it up. Ten, oh, these are top yep. ten. There's no discussion about United it. United States, Connecticut. Yep, there they are right there. <laughs> but again, uh, it's. It, I think it comes down to like the pros and cons of like the ELO system. You know, some yeah. people think that if you get to a certain rating, say you get to like 2200 or something, mm -hmm. uh, say like you're light in state, right? You just beat up everybody in state. You get super high rating. You just don't show up anymore. You know, you're like, mm, I'm in first. I don't want to lose my rating if, you know, 
We'll just uh, yeah, not but, show up. Yeah, but didn't, didn't they fix something like that? They did eventually, like, implement a decay. You know, like, eventually it would knock points off. Okay, the longer yeah, that, that's, how they, cause that's how they can make players continue right, to right. play. Okay. But, Forgot um, about that. I don't know, maybe not the most elegant solution, but definitely something to think about if they were to implement something like that. But, honestly, I think just already like the pan of global rankings are huge just to have like a centralized database yeah i just think like wouldn't it be sick if it was so centralized it was literally everybody <laughs> what a crazy <Yeah>. idea <clears throat> excuse me but yeah I would, I would just love if they did something like that man like just something along those lines right uh for sure i mean and you know smash gg has been doing a bunch of great stuff already oh hell yeah dude it's just like i love like the when i heard about the compendium Yep, like yeah. all the shit like that. I mean, that's dope. And even just like my favorite part about it is like so optional. You know, if it's like you just want to run a bracket, fine. But if you want to run a bracket and record character data, sweet. If you yeah, want to record yeah, yeah. like character and stage data and the stocks left in each game, like all that stuff is there. You know, and for yeah, multiple I definitely games like that. Too. Like I talked to the clipboards a lot um, about the they putting the character data for, just for like the weeklies. Right. But like. When I'm just here by myself and I'm trying to run the stream, it's a lot of work. run a tournament, and then try to take result at the same time, I was like, ah. yeah. Dude, but I definitely want to input. I want to be like that, that first like place for the weeklies. Like, what happens if we had like four people that ran the whole tournament weekly? One person took all took all the data, you know, and everyone had. Dude, that's what I want to get to, bro. That'd be sweet. Yeah, I definitely love the character data. So this like yep. people can like research like. Yeah, I know Clipboards did it at uh, pretty much the last couple of invasions, you know, when they weren't particularly packed, he would take everyone's character data. And it was so great to be like, oh, like, you know, AG uh, lost terribly against Travel when he was Wario, and then he won when he was Sheik, but then he, like, you know, lost in this game. Like, it's so, so sweet, you know, especially if you want to, I don't know, if you want to, like, look up an opponent you have in a pool at a major or something, right? Mm -hmm. And you go to their region, and you're like, oh, look, they're, you know, he plays these characters and against these matchups, and does this well at this weekly it's super super informative if you just put in a little extra work and uh you know they do it with all of the games too you know they have yeah. uh, pocket characters and uh what do you call it? injustice it's just sweet platform dude dude what um what different things from smash did you like uh you know, because they got, they got, you know, single elimination, double elimination, right. round robin, Swiss, whatever. Like, yep. what other things do you think they can just add in there? Like, I heard about, like, some kind of, like, what the hell is it called? Waterfall. Waterfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty, like, a uh, big talking point recently. Is really? like the waterfall system, yeah. Because it's, like... Some, oh. so, all right, do you know everything, like, how the no, whole format not works? not at all. No, no, no. I, Dude, I, I got a couple of articles. Pieces, yeah, yeah. I read a couple of articles on it, and I'm still not confident enough to say that I know how it works. But it is basically just like a super intensive format. Like you play a lot, a lot of games, and um, like for people who want to come out and play just as many games as they can, like it's a great format. Yeah. Um, 64 uh, at Smash 2017 ran the Waterfall, I believe, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. and they loved it. And you just came out and you got to play like. 20 serious games of 64. Yeah, right. Venue Doesn't for. the waterfall have to have pools, right? Yeah, yeah, that's part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. There's a heard like, like there somewhere. But. Yeah, like if there's like what, eight, like, let's say we had an even, even tournament of 64 people. Right. And then you had, you know, eight pools of eight or whatever. Yep. So like the top two would make it out to the pro bracket, top two below that would right. go into that, and then so on. Trickles down, hence the waterfall, whatever. Um, and yeah, and just con something about continuing from there that. Whoever wins that bracket and the bottom moves up, keeps playing in the tournament essentially. Yeah. So or something. Exactly. So, someone if no want waterfall, please come. Inform yes, me. yeah, yeah. Well, please <laughs> like, let us know. I but want you literally on the show explain. Right. Like if you're a master in waterfall, yeah, yeah. like well, let's I want to know. Dude, one paper fairy's back in Connecticut. Dude. He's a, he did it at Shine 2017. Huge fan of waterfall. Yeah. So. Yeah, Justin. Definitely get him in here. Get it. <laughs> we need to get you in here, bro, to explain this shit, because I don't know. But it's a great format. You know, like we said uh, in earlier episodes, stuff like amateur brackets and, like, round-robin pools. Yeah, I'm big on amateur bracket, man. Right. It's so great, because <laughs> yeah. so much of the community is people who I remember our last stuff, one, right? bro. Uh, Stress got in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, and he was like, yo, I got first seed at the First the seed at the bracket, amateur bracket, uh, man. I don't know. I, I don't know if he ended up winning. Yeah, he did. He, he did, ended up yeah. winning, yeah. I'm like, dude, 
reason why. Yep. <laughs> like he's go. good. dude. I love when Shrest is like on point when it's too late. Randy, Randy yeah, he's does really on good. Point. Yeah, really good. All right. There's waterfall. Yep. Around the, any other type of. Thing no, it pretty much covers it. I think like when you're playing a game like Smash, like double elimination is fine. A lot of people are fine with that. Like round robin pools into double elimination is a, a rare treat, but a welcome one. And then anything past that is just like maybe a little too much. Mm. I think waterfall is like really it's like teetering. Like, man, how much Smash am I trying to play? Like Yeah, true. Oh, I just love I just love, love Still a good that. format. But yeah, yeah, it's man Smash GG is pretty much most of it covered. Yeah, I do I think they're like one algorithm away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just one more feature. But you know what I would actually like? I don't I know like they're kinda of working on at least I don't know. I heard that uh you know like a challenge, you just go in there and just like I make a bracket. Yeah. And it's up. Right. Oh yeah, Smash G doesn't have that. It's yeah. not I, I, super it's, approachable, but to I mean it's it's just like convenient. Right. I mean, like, right, right. Definitely. But I think that'll come in time. You know, it's oh, yeah. more of a stress test, I think, at this point. You know, they don't want to, like, have everyone making tournaments on Smash GG. Yeah, Crash or site. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a problem. But definitely probably something they'll work on in the future. We don't even have to, we don't even have to tell them that. Yeah. Really, no. Yeah, that's about it, man. I feel like. Any more thoughts? Last thoughts? No. No. Nah, man. Nah, I think I got, right. I got it all out there. All right, man. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you on the next episode. Peace. Peace.